Hello. Happy homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Trying not to get my hands in. Um, so yeah, it's about six o'clock Wednesday evening and uh, I just come in from work. So I just do this piece to camera before uploading. Um, I haven't done any more brewing over this week, but I've been shopping. Yes, a few hops there. Um, I had for Christmas some gift vouchers from my local homebrew store from my brother-in-law and so I invested in a few more hops there. No prizes for guessing that the Chinook uh, will go into another ABA. What I'm intending to do is put that onto the uh, yeast cake of the one that I've got bubbling now and hopefully that will go away like the clappers and that means that I can put one in the keg and then this one that I'm going to make in a few days time because it's Wednesday now and on Friday I break up for half term so I've got a week off uh, and I'm going to do a couple of brews I'm going to do another ABA to go into bottles so I can send a few out to friends take some over to France because um, I rarely bottle now uh, so that'll be good to do to do that and send a few out to, to some people who I owe a few uh, brew mails to and uh, the galaxy well that'll be going into a pale ale that I'm going to make as well so my good lady wife is going away working um, tra and training on uh, Friday lunchtime and uh, not coming back on Sunday lunchtime um, so that gives me just me and my youngest daughter uh, daddy daughter time but some of that is going to be brewing time as well see if I can get two brews in one thing I should say is thank you to everybody and to all my new subscribers and uh, heading towards the 200 It'd be wonderful if we can get there shortly um, but it really has picked up recently thank you and uh, I think that's about all I've got to say this week. There's obviously um, some footage over later on of various things arriving and various things happening. So I hope you enjoy that. All I can say is uh, I don't intend to video the brewing of the ABA um, because you've already seen that. I might do a few photographs and I might do a few photographs of the pale ale that I'm uh, hoping to brew as well. Um, and include that in next week's uh, Homebrew Wednesday. But apart from that, enjoy the rest of the video. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. So, uh, what you've just seen was Sunday, following my last video. This one is uh, it's Tuesday, and uh, it's obviously all nice and cool now. And I'm about to pour it into the ferment. That was quite full. That's quite full. So uh, I'll turn it around so you can see. See what you can see there. The dog's joining in. I've got a bit of a head on there, which is all right. Getting plenty of oxygen in, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're using uh, the 
go for yeast. There we go, just putting it on dry. It's in the wrist action. <laughs> And then uh, we'll put the lid on and top up the airlock with the Blythe Spirit Brewery vodka. Well, I don't know what kind of bottle your vodka comes in, but mine comes in a bottle like that. And uh, just by the test, see that it's all right. I would hate to have gone off. No, it's definitely about 45% <coughs> proof. Did of course put this vodka in before I drank out of the glass. And then we're gonna put it away and see how long it takes before it starts fermenting. And here we are in situ. So as I said, it's Tuesday night and uh, next shot you'll see hopefully is when it's fermenting. Okay. So some yeast samples, in inverted commas, arrived. BML from Steve Molson, plot 42. Well, we did a jump cut there, and just as well, because I think Steve's got uh, shares in tape. Because there was an awful lot of tape on there. But my goodness, is that a secure package? And I'm looking forward to getting in there and see how we do. So a couple of bottles there, we'll have a look. Put those on shortly, looking forward to those. And here, of course, is the flag that's doing the rounds which has come from Tony at Yorkshire Homebrew 01. And what he's wanting us to do is, as we send it around, is to sign it. There we go, we can see one here. There's one, Steve Molson, plot 42 there, signed it. And as we send BMA out to people, we'll send this with it too. Until it gets all the way back round to Tony again. What a great idea. Okay. So let's have a look at the BMA. Okay, this first one, just lay it gently, and this is uh, the stout. So it's a homemade stout from Steve. Look forward to trying that, Steve. Obviously we'll let it settle down because I've thrown it around a bit if the uh, couriers haven't. And uh, we'll review that on a later um, programme. Oh, that's great. Look forward to that. And this one, well actually I know you did uh, write to me and tell me that uh, 
it's some wine. And he said he didn't have a wine bottle, but he's put it into into a cap bottle and it says straw wine straw wine so I presume that's strawberry wine presuming I'll check with you Steve before I again um, review that at a later date that looks pretty clear actually done very well so it obviously hasn't been sh shaken up too much So, always exciting to get beer mail, always, and uh, I can't wait to try them. Thanks very much. So there we go. You can see the white rose of Yorkshire up in the corner. Steve's signature and I'm going to put mine beside it being the second person on so what an honour there's the ABA it's still throwing the occasional bubble up it was put into the uh, the FV there you go it's talking to me as we're, as we're talking it was put into the FV on Tuesday and we're now on Saturday. Most of the violent fermentation or the um, heavy fermentation is over now, about four days into it. And there we are. Just quick update on the ABA. Twinkle. Say hello. Good girl. Chloe. Say hello. This is Chloe. And you've just met Twinkle. And we have three cats. So it's a bit uh, like a menagerie here. <laughs> Good girl. Can you hear the beer in the background? Yep. Yeah. What I also forgot to say um, earlier in the video was I'm having a little bit of a celebration this week as well because um, when I was saying what my wife is going away training, she's a consultant uh, for Slimming World and this week I finally got my three stone off. So I've lost three stones in weight. So for uh, the Brits amongst you, then obviously you'll know what three stone is. Um, for the Americans and our cousins over the pond there, um, there are 14 pounds in a stone. So multiply three by 14 and you'll work out how much weight I've lost. I uh, still would like to lose another two stone, uh, which is 28 pounds and uh, fingers crossed that'll happen cheers bare belly blues what color are my new shoes <laughs> cause my feet and belt buckle are things I rarely see <laughs> My problem is not my glands. It comes poured from aluminum cans. <laughs> and Pap's Blue Ribbon's been awfully good to me. <laughs>